Okay guys, what's going on? So today I'm working with Micros E7 POS software. This is restaurant and business managing software. Basically what this is, is it's your control frame for inputting things into the system that uh, you don't run necessarily with barcodes. Uh, or you can use barcodes, you can input barcodes to be stored in the system. So any restaurant slash bar slash uh, privately owned thrift store, you'll probably see this kind of program. So what I'm going to be going over today is basically uh, inputting auto menus and time frames. And I figured I would start doing this because I was very confused on the software to begin with and uh, I just was looking for videos online and I didn't see one that covered Micros POS. So I'm going to cover Micros POS. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to pull up your screen on your main computer, your main PC, and punch in your security code to go into your manager slash owner screen. What you're going to do from there is log into your configurator. So punch in your username and then your password. And voila, we are in configurator. So what we're going to be looking at is two things. We're going to be looking, or, or no four things actually we're gonna be looking at menu which is all of this fun stuff here we're gonna be looking at uh, going down here we're gonna be looking at restaurant we're gonna be looking at auto menus and we're gonna be looking at time periods so the first thing that we need to do is we need to check out our menu so what I'm doing right now is I'm adding a specific time frame for a specific day in the middle of the week so that it runs as an auto menu. So if I select my beer bottle here for Bud Light and I go to prices, you'll see that I have, I don't know what the hell that's for. Uh, there we go. Okay, so what I have here is I have lunch happy hour, dinner, and Thursday happy hour. Now Thursday happy hour is the one that I added to the system. How did I do that, you may be asking. So we have our lunch and our happy hour, and happy hour starts 3 to 6, but on Thursdays it's 3 to 9. Now in order for it to not conflict with that, I needed to create a different category and make some selections and put in different time frames from multiple things, I guess. So what we're going to do is, first things first, how do you make these little menu item prices uh, based upon time frames, right? So that is requirement through the restaurant category. So you come down here to the restaurant category. These will already be programmed in your system. You go to the restaurant category, or well, however the uh, Micros guys set up your system. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to menu, and then simply just add the Thursday happy hour uh, spec right there to the menu four or well in my case it was four yours might be seven or eight you might have ten who knows uh, so that's that so now we have lunch happy hour dinner and Thursday happy hour which you can see clearly here back at the menu if we go to the beer bottles and we go to the bud you'll see it right there so we have our fourth menu option the next thing is this price input has to be coded with a certain time frame for it to be selected so that is going to be down here by time periods so we go to time periods now what I had before was happy hour which you can see here is 3 to 6 p.m. Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday was selected and Friday that's for the whole few days of the week what I did there is I deselected Thursday and I made a copy of the original record and I named it Thursday happy hour and what I did there was check Thursday and deselect the rest and as you can see I set the time to 9 p.m. instead of 3 so once you've done that you also have to work with your food menu so it doesn't contradict because we have our lunch that goes 1031 to 3 and then we have dinner that goes 601 to 4 a.m. well if you got dinner at 601 and it's an auto menu the 601 is gonna pop up automatically before the happy hour menu and you don't want that to happen so what you need to do is also make a copy of your dinner menu as well or whatever menu you're making a copy of for one specific day again deselect that specific day and then label it in my case I labeled it Thursday dinner and we just check Thursday and say 901 p.m. to 4 a.m. so that's when the dinner menu starts uh, after uh, the Thursday Thursday happy hour specials 
So now that we've done that, we need to set it as an auto sequence. So you go to auto menus. We also have our happy hour here and dinner Monday through Friday here. So what you're going to do, the same thing. You're going to go here and make a copy of the record. And I relabeled that Thursday happy hour from the happy hour copy. And you have to select the menu, which is Thursday happy hour. So make sure that's selected. And also time periods, Thursday happy hour, which the time periods we set in time periods here and you can see Thursday happy hour and it'll come up and automate those time periods same thing with the dinner make a copy of dinner Monday through Friday Thursday dinner select the time period Thursday dinner and make sure this is labeled dinner and rename it whatever you need it to be renamed in my case it was Thursday dinner so once you've done that the only last and final thing that you need to do is go through all your items and make sure that every single one of them has a price so that way it comes up on the automatic menu in my case at nine o'clock uh... or at uh... three o'clock like i want it to uh... the other thing is too if you have categories like this make sure that you have one price only selected and hit that to zero point zero zero for zero dollars because my BEX, I have it as modifiers to select these prices here at the certain time. So when you hit the BEX button, modifiers come up and you select one or the other. So that way, as you can see here, attachments, I have it minimum one, maximum one, so you can only select one, and you put that through the system there. So that's that. Just make sure that your BEX here is $0.00 or whatever it may be for you if you have modifiers to it that are regulated for that certain time period that's how you're going to do that so any questions or comments rate comment and subscribe i'm rob i'm back software reborn and uh... yeah so i'm going to be doing some videos like this i hope this helps you out any business owners out there that are stumped on micros feel free to contact me for any information or for any help on it and uh... i'll leave a uh... email link in the description uh... below that you can send me messages to alrighty We'll talk to you later, and thanks for watching. I hope this helps, and see you next time.